we talked to you earlier this week about how you do kind of pay attention to the table over the course of, of even not your games, but the games around you. You had a really good week this week, not only with your own win, but the games on Wednesday. So how you guys clinch the playoffs. What does it mean to clinch this early? Well, it's, it's great to know that you're in the playoffs. Um, uh, you know, I think the statement that went out really encapsulated the way we all feel. Uh, there's, there's been a, a, a bigger focus. Yes, you, you can only move incrementally and make small strides. And those strides have been made towards a postseason. Um, but our focus has always been on can we win the Eastern Conference? And of course, if we do fall short of that, can we be in the most positive position possible to try and have a run in the playoffs? And I think by aiming for the title, then you know we, we should put ourselves in a great spot. Very, very pleased. It's good work from the group. Uh, with five games to go, it's a massive improvement on last year. But there are big expectations around the group. So, you know, I'm not going to say that we've achieved what we set out to because we haven't yet. When you look at it and you see that Pittsburgh is one of the teams who's really close to you in the table, do you see tomorrow's game as one of the more important of the five left? Oh. I, I, I would say, you know, as big as any at this point. It, it really is a, uh, an important juncture, I feel, for probably both teams. A victory gives us a six-point buffer. Um, with their couple of games in hand, so it puts a bit more pressure on them. A draw probably keeps them in the stronger of positions, and a defeat is quite damaging for us in, in, the, in the charge for the top four. So yeah, it's a big game. Everyone knows that. Um, I think the mentality and attitude of the group's been great. You saw that on Tuesday night. It wasn't easy having five really full-fledged starters out of the side. The rest of the group stepped up well, and uh, I think the, you know, the determination and that, that, that willpower to, to try and make something happen was there for all to see again, and doesn't do a lot for, for my stress levels, as I said afterwards, but a victory gave us exactly what we needed towards this weekend. Does the way that the result unfolded in Pittsburgh kind of impact the way that you prepare for this game, conceding the two late goals to give up the draw? Or is it something that you just kind of look at and say, you know, we're going to prepare for the team that they put out regardless of I that? I think there's been a lot of changes in both groups. Um, not necessarily personnel for them, but I think certainly where their form was at at that point in the season when we played them, um, they've been on a terrific run. They've gone from being a side at the early part of the season that started very slowly and have picked up momentum fantastically and they're really in the spot that you would expect them to be fighting for not just the playoffs but a real top three even championship spot so i i, I don't think in terms of planning much changes our bodies that we've added make a big difference to us um, you can see by the the way that the team's performed Goals conceded, goals scored, results. You know, eight wins out of the last 11 games is a good return. And, you know, I do think that we're certainly in a, in a, a, a mentally strong position. I can see that in the group. Um, certainly like one or two of those lads back that we've seen on the touchline. Daniel's in a much better position for the weekend, um, you know, to get Derek up and running. Um, Cameron's looking good for the weekend as well. So we're starting slowly but surely to get towards what could be our strongest lineup. And, you know, that only bodes well for, for what comes next. Um, you mentioned, I think, four or five names there. Lebo, any update on him? Is he, are you expecting him? He's okay. He's going to be great. Um, when you look at, at these last uh, five games now, uh, knowing that you have the final away game after this one, does that kind of make you say, okay, we have to, you know, we're going to have a break between home games. We have to kind of entertain the home fans a little bit in this one? Well, uh, I, honestly, when you can start getting to the sharp end and the busiest end of the season, um, I think all teams always want to entertain. You know, if you look at the way the game unfolded the other night, I, I honestly thought the first half, we, with some omissions from the group, and a lack of connection at times still managed to to offer up some good enough chances to get in front and it and it does change the way that the game unfolds um, this side's not easy to play against I mean Bob's made a, a living out of 
building very strong, organised groups who are very capable. He knows this league inside out. He knows what it takes to be in the playoffs time and time again. And he also knows what it's like to win a championship. So, uh, you know, no, no one's expecting an easy game. Um, will it be a free-flowing, open, exciting game? Unlikely. <laughs> really unlikely. Will we see a lot of the ball? Quite possible. Will we create many chances? Again, I'm not expecting many. So, you know, their record tells us they've lost four games all year. Um, they've had a lot of draws. They're, they're very, very tough to play against, and I don't expect anything different. Coach, it's been interesting kind of how the Easter Conference has unfolded this year, where you haven't seen many teams below the playoff line take points from teams at the top of the table. But here in the last few weeks, we have started to see that a little bit with Tampa losing some points to Atlanta. Um, and then just some of the other results. Do you feel like as the season winds, as the teams are getting a little tighter and everything is just kind of maybe playing out a little bit more, there's a little bit more parity playing out? I, I think you've got a couple of things that have happened. One, to your point, there's a little bit more pressure for the groups at the top who are fighting for the championship or a top four spot because they know what, what that can offer them come postseason. You've got um, you know, teams like Louisville who we should certainly not write off. They're in a really good vein of form. We've got to play them. It's a local derby. Um, they're a game in hand on us, but certainly one slip up somewhere makes that game against them almost identical to the one we've got this weekend. I think you've had a lot of a lot of good quality sides, well matched sides in the top six or seven of this league. There's not an awful lot to choose between the teams. Below that, I think you've had some sides that have dipped in and out of form. Teams like Birmingham that started off poorly with uh, a brand new franchise and have found their way and a, and a bit of their identity. And then you've got the, maybe the teams that have had a difficult season for the most, but have just relaxed a little bit more. You know, there's not so much tension about trying to fight for playoffs. They probably know what their fate's going to be. It's given an opportunity for some of those guys just to maybe certainly with some of the two teams, some guys that have not got a lot of experience and, and we're finding the fight for, for playoff and postseason a little bit too much. Yeah. Well now they've got a bit of experience, um, they've found their way a little bit more and, and maybe that, that opportunity to relax has given them the, the platform to play. Uh, last thing, kind of an odd footnote to this one is this will be the Riverhounds first time playing at First Tennessee Park. Um, since they played in Nissan last year. Um, is that an advantage for you guys in any way that they haven't seen this pitch yet uh, in playing you guys throughout the two years? They strike me as a team that adapt pretty well to wherever they go. Uh, I think there are some certain nuances of one or two of the teams that have bigger fields, wider fields. I know they had an issue down in Carolina, but they did have a place in off as well, and it was all square before that. Um, but, you know, those fields can sometimes, if you're playing on a tighter field, which they do, have a little bit of an issue. Uh, I, I don't see them having a problem uh, at our field. I think it helps us, mm -hmm. uh, because I think when we go to, to Nissan, yes, it's a big occasion. I think the group coped far better with that occasion, and I've seen a, a gradual progression from the Pittsburgh game to Cincinnati last year and then the win against Indy. That, that progression has been nice playing at, playing at uh, uh, Titans, but it is a bit of a neutral venue for, for both teams when we're there. This, this venue is something we're more used to, it's something we're more capable of achieving on. We've, we've had good results, we've finished games well, the fans get behind us, it is a tighter environment. So to that degree, I think it suits us better.